they're they're demonstrating this more liberating masculinity as a, and, and how powerful it is. And if you look at Steph Curry, say, and winning three championships with the Warriors in, in recent years, he won with joy, you know, not anger. That was the way Michael mm-hmm. Jordan won going back right. 20, 30 years. Uh, but, but Steph Curry and won with humility, like deferring to his teammates saying, you know what, I'm going to take a back seat or well, we're going to share power with Kevin Durant, his teammate on the Golden State Warriors basketball team. And that's how they won, you know, with with, with a sense of, of community. And and Steve Kerr, their coach, brought these great values of compassion and mindfulness uh, along with competition. It, again, showing you you're not necessarily getting rid of the conventional masculine beliefs, but you're adding to them. And if you look at, as you said, LeBron James and, and the, import, the importance of taking a stand on the, the wider society right now, seeing our interconnectedness as a community, the need to, to really address racial injustice, um, I think it. I think it's a great. Those are some great role models, and they're showing really the power, the ability to to succeed in life when you adopt some of these wider, newer sen- uh, ways of being a man. Yeah, yeah, and I love that they're turning sports arenas over to polling places in November, and like the Mavericks, and, right? Yeah, the Mavericks and are doing that, taking on that larger social justice piece and concern about the wider world rather than just the narrow view of, you know, it's all about, it's all about the sport and winning. So as we are helping our boys grow, we're guiding them through everything from potty training to learning how to drive and relationships. And let's talk about consent and all all of that. What kinds of things should we be doing to prepare them for the world of work? What skills should we be nurturing? I think that, that, you know, it comes back to you know, at a high level, this, these notions of compassion and connection. If we can help our boys realize it is, you know, okay to, to follow your heart, to, to not shut that off, you know, uh, and to see that we are in community with each other. These are natural human traits that in many ways, the conventional masculinity kind of pushed to the side and say, you're not, you're not, it's not okay to like feel bad about the kid who's who got beat up on the playground because you don't want to be aligned mm-hmm. with the group that's the losers you know yeah. you, you want to be yeah. you know sticking with the bully and and the, and the ones that are kind of dominating others no you know in in the in the in the work world that's emerging what we're seeing is that the most successful people are in the words of adam grant out of wharton school givers they are not mm-hmm. takers they are the ones that are actually um they are empathetic and they're willing to share and as you know, as long as they're not letting themselves be a doormat either, you got to be careful with that. But there, this is the new skills in the work world are more about uh, soft skills. These are the success skills of the 21st century. Things like listening well, empathy, emotional intelligence, so you can understand when your team teammates are struggling uh, and and can't get the work done. You know, we we've seen. You know, we, you guys may have heard of the Google study that the most important factor in Google's most successful team was the psychological safety, which basically amounts to providing a space where people feel cared for and and are not going to be mocked when they share ideas mm-hmm. and who they are as as people. So that the, these ideas of compassion and 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 feeling like you're part of a wider team and a network is is very important for the for the work world that's emerging because you typically going to be part of teams that are spread out and teams of teams. You can't just be a solo actor, which maybe you could be more like 20 or 30 years ago and just have your own little silo. That's not the way the work world is operating. It's, it's global. It's, it's digital. It's fast paced. You have to be sensing and responding to others around you and your teammates. So if you can, you know, just not get rid of those human qualities of, of caring, compassion, and a sense of community, those are, those are going to serve boys well. The beautiful thing for us as parents is what you're saying is the very things that most of us are here for. You know, our listeners and us, these are things we want to nurture and facilitate and grow in our boys. We want them to be compassionate human beings. We want them to be able to listen and communicate. And so what I hear you telling us is keep doing what you're doing. You don't need to yes. add.